Good morning, how y'all doing out there? This video is going to be about musician, songwriter David Crosby from Crosby, Steals, Nash & Young. Um, guy that is considered an important songwriter, artist, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member a couple times, etc. David Crosby always gets a take about different issues. And he can be interesting. I mean, it's interesting takes, but it's always interesting when musicians who have come from a certain era or something can critique or listen so he was asked on the passing of the late and I consider the great Eddie Van Halen his thoughts on him and Crosby was like my man and he never said he didn't think he was town or nothing he just wasn't blown away but apparently on Twitter some people took exception to that but David Crosby later said in his defense I was a product of the 60s and I saw a guy by the name of Jimi Hendrix who was innovative and only set the world on fire and changed the game. If you go by that criteria, he probably wouldn't be too impressed by much of what he saw thereafter because he did come around an era, <clears throat> pardon me, that the 60s had some of the greatest musicians, songwriters, and the landscape of popular music would forever change. You know, and I'm not going to make this a compare them in a battle. But if you saw someone like Jimi Hendrix, I mean, he was <clears throat> pretty electrifying and, and he was pretty incredible. Eddie Van Halen was incredible for his era with Van Halen. And it got me thinking, it's just like the sports, but especially basketball debates are just dumb. You can't compare eras and you can't compare styles or things in nature because so much changes people's criteria, what they want. You say, well, how is like guitar playing like basketball or something, I'll tell you like this technique, the way the solos are implemented, the way the sound, the way people look for the purity, you know, the way the, the way the song is interpreted, the groove, etc., etc. And if it's great enough, it sets a standard, you know. But I do think the two things can be right at the same time. That both both partic participating parties were great for their respective eras, you know. It's just that it was in a different manner a different um you know atmosphere but he David Crosby didn't say anything wrong when he said that he was you know he grew up watching Hendrix he did say Eddie Van Halen was talented and he respected him he just wasn't blown away and you don't necessarily have to be nobody say that you're old or that you're this either play that you're saying your ways get off my lawn it's just that sometimes you've seen some things that leave a lasting impact on you i've seen artists that i've been blessed to see that i ain't seen nothing that's rivaling i've seen some people that come along though that i did and i'll say they definitely agree for their time you know and it's hard to you know again it's not fair to compare eras and stuff because a lot of things are different a lot of things are different and you know but anyway that's my thoughts and takes about David, David Crosby and his take on Eddie Van Halen, which got some interesting takes on Twitter. But give me your thoughts and takes. Did you have a problem with David Crosby being more saying, being more hyped for Jimi Hendrix or, or the way he was on like, he gave Eddie Van Halen his due and he said he even took a picture with him once, but he wasn't blown away. But give me your thoughts and takes. Right or wrong, where you stand? And welcome to feedback. Hit the like and subscribe and the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And you know, opinions, everyone's got an opinion. And not everybody is blown away because art is very subjective. Any form of entertainment is subjective. I'm out.